know quite a bit about this. It's it's related to the family of of pox viruses that spread through direct contact. So you can have respiratory droplet spread like you can with a with a common cold, but not like COVID. You don't have that uh, more aerosolized spread or very fine droplets that can spread further and, and make casual contact a risk. Here, it really does take direct contact. So usually it's household contacts. It might be sexual partners. It's anyone who has either that very close exposure potentially to droplet spread but mainly it's um, spread from the actual lesions associated with this infection itself. don't tend to be infectious until they have symptoms. With the monkeypox, the infectiousness comes with quite distinctive symptoms. So it helps identify people who have the infection. They can be isolated, so they're not a risk to other people. And we can find their contacts as well before they have a chance to become infectious. So from a public health point of view, it's easier to contain. And from an individual point of view, you, you don't have to worry as much about passing the virus on to others. Older people who've um, who had a, a smallpox vaccine earlier in life, or who've been in exposure areas for these other pox viruses, who've received a smallpox vaccine, will have protection. Smallpox vaccines are held around the world. They've been kept, you know, in, in case we did see a smallpox resurgence.